Welcome to the next pop-up personal growth presentation right here from the Mandalay Bay. Can you see this? Ladies and gentlemen, a little secret. This is where I used to get down promoting right here. This place is special and I have a new treat with me today that I'm gonna share with you for the first time. Check that out. We're about to get down to business. This is how we do it. Thanks for being here. The good old days. There's a very special piece of my heart right here on this walkway, right here. I mean, can you believe that, was it 20, the end of 2015 into 2016, I promoted nightclubs right here on this property, most specifically for the rooftop at the foundation room. And this was a very, very big place for me to earn a great living. I got sober while doing this job and then had the extra time by working four or five hours a night and then making enough money to have all the rest of my days to work on myself constantly. And I had all the time to be able to figure out who I was, create, self-express, recreate myself. And this place right here is super special for me. Not to mention, there are a ton of people that I still have relationships with to this day that are dear friends of mine, that play a very big game, that I've kept in contact with from, and you can see right now, there's people walking left and right. Like that podium right behind me right there was where I would have to stand and hand out tickets to the nightclub. And it was really fun and cool just to walk up to people. But here's something that really was also important. At the same time that I was literally coming to terms with who I was while I had this job, I imagined that this was the property that I was going to be able to do my job and then at some point, because all of the conventions and all of the people that were coming and going, that I was going to run into somebody. One of these personal development gurus, experts, was gonna be walking up and down these hallways. And so, when I would get prepared to come here every single day, there was one thing that I'm gonna write down for you right here. And I want you all to take this back with you because this is super important, okay? The word is, bring that camera in here. It's visualize. Every day, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to pay very close attention to me. Every day I would come here, I would visualize in my head, I would imagine that someone was gonna take me under their wing off this property, I was gonna go out and live my dream. I had wrote a book, I had started podcasting, I was high on life. It's just one thing that was missing. I needed to get out of what I know and where I was to go to that next level. And so, whether it was me coming to work, joyful, living my best life, I came here and I visualized that that was gonna happen. And on one special day, I'll never forget it, I was the only guy working in here on that night and I was running laps around this place almost trying to be at this station. There's another one over by the casino entrance in the front. There's one over there by the walkway up to the Luxor. I had thought to myself, never would I give up on this dream of mine. And number two was by, I would say God's grace, who has a bigger plan for you, God's grace. He is going to put you in the right places at the right time. So I'm spinning the casino with my own two feet and I sprint up to the front and I stop. It's around 11.30 and the guy that I had on my radar from a mutual introduction from months ago that I had never met before but coincidentally was pseudo social media stalking. I kid you not, I stop right by the elevators and I turn around and he's walking towards me. Can't make this stuff up. And I look and I say, oh my God, in my head, oh my God, it's B-dub. I walk over to him and I say, hey, big fan, love what you do. It's amazing, what brings you here? Here's the funny part. They were actually hosting a party that night at the club that I was promoting. I just didn't have a chance to actually meet him or have any time and space of that idea or know that that would be him. And so he comes out and says, well, nice to meet you. It's awesome that, you know, started a small conversation. What are you up to? Oh, I promote here for the rooftop, the foundation room. Oh, we were just there having a party, great, great. He says, well, I'm having a big event here starting tomorrow. Why don't you come down and join us? 
That's a big deal. Door opens. This is where God's grace was starting to show me that the things that I was doing was putting me in the right position to take my life to the next level. From that conversation, he invited me to an event. I went to the event. He highlighted me in front of hundreds of people. And then, sure enough, a few short months later, he brought me on to travel the country with him and speak on all his stages without ever having done anything like that before. So let me tell you the last thing that's most important. Very, very important. And it's two-part almost. You have to stay moving, okay? So movement is very important in this process. Even when things don't seem like they're going the right way, you have to stay active and in the pursuit. There can't be any slowing down of this piece while you're trying to uncover and discover your dream life. Another important piece about what I just said, when I met that guy for the first time and I saw him, I didn't freeze. I took advantage, this is the second part. Jump on the opportunity. That was my opportunity. I could have folded, I could have regressed, I could have went a different direction, but I didn't. I went right into it and capitalized on the opportunity. And so that, for this pop-up personal growth presentation, I'm wrapping it up right here inside of the Mandalay Bay. By the way, Mandalay Bay is MB. That's a funny looking M. Mandalay Bay, mine for you today is you, ready for it? Must believe. I believe you can. Go out there and make it happen, ladies and gentlemen.